Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Keel Dyken. Happy to be back after the 4th of July celebration. So as you guys know, or may not be aware, uh, we have a lot of RetroPie updates, news to cover and release. And so one of the things that I decided to do a few days ago, uh, the Supreme team sent me over a couple of new bills to test out. Obviously, we've been backdated. I know you guys have been hearing me mention a lot of that. And so I encountered something that I've never happened before in my whole RetroPie Raspberry Pi experience. Uh, I had an issue where my Raspberry Pi 5 uh, wouldn't boot. Um, I kept getting a green blinking light. And so I searched the forums for it. Something did happen to pop up. In fact, this has actually been an issue uh, since the Raspberry Pi 5 initially came out now we're still looking to find out what the original issue is as far as what caused this a couple of the devs said it might have been a bad write but again i've never had this happen on a raspberry pi 4 3b or 3b plus and so essentially i burned the new image i tried four different drives i tried four uh three ssd drives and then one usb and then i even tried an sd card and the odd thing was i haven't used my raspberry pi 5 in about either two weeks to about a month and then my other Raspberry Pi 5, uh, which was brand new, never been booted up, bought back in uh, December or January, had the same exact thing happen. Now, I can tell you that the image that I did burn to it is one of the newer ones. And so what happened was uh, I did see the uh, boot screen on it for a little bit. And then after that, that was all I saw. But other than that, had the same exact issue happen where the screen would just blink green. I'm sorry, the Raspberry Pi 5 would just continuously blink green. Nothing would happen. I tried multiple HDMI uh, uh, cables, tried two different uh, official uh, power supplies. That didn't work. And so I even tried some of the forms and none of the forms really had any answers. It seems to be something occasionally that would happen. However, I was able to find a fix for this. Uh, what I decided to do was go to the Raspberry Pi, download the Raspberry Pi imager device. Uh, so you can see here, we're gonna go to Raspberry Pi 5. We're gonna click on the latest, uh, latest bills. We're gonna choose OS. And once you get down here, you're gonna select miscellaneous utility images. And then you can select bootloader Raspberry Pi 5. And what this does is allows you to reset your Raspberry Pi 5 boot priority or the boot sequence. Uh, there's no other way to do it. This is the only way that I know of in order to do it. And so I tried two options here. Both of them did work. You could either try the SD card boot or you could try the network boot. Now I didn't try this one. However, I do assume that it would work as well. The MVME USB boot uh, option here, but I tried both of these, the network boot and the SD card boot, and both of them worked flawlessly. So again, just wanted to make this video, let you guys know that's how you fix your Raspberry Pi 5 booting issue. Um, I'm going to try to reduplicate the same issue to see exactly what happened. Um, I didn't have any errors or any problems at all. Uh, when I wrote the image, it said it wrote successfully. However, I did notice too that when I tried to use the Raspberry Pi imager sometimes or even did uh, this uh, particular method here, sometimes it would fail. So I don't know if my PC was having an issue where it would say it would write and then say that it wouldn't. But uh, initially what I had to do to fix it was also write this using my laptop. I didn't even use it my standard desktop, which is what I'm currently using right now. So it wrote successfully, uh, booted it up. It took about five to about 10 minutes once I put the SD card inside the Raspberry Pi 5. Uh, the screen on my TV turned green for about five or 10 minutes. After that, the TV turned off, or the TV actually didn't turn off, but the green screen kind of went away. Pulled the SD card out, and then I was able to boot up the image successfully. So I hope this helped for anybody out there having this problem. There isn't too many recommended solutions in order to fix your issue for the Raspberry Pi 5. I personally don't think that it should have, it shouldn't have happened. I mean, again, my Raspberry Pi 5 hadn't been used in weeks. Uh, again, the only thing that it could have been is maybe the write or the image process. But again, I tried it on a brand new Raspberry Pi 5, not the one that I built Maximum Carnage on, the one of you guys always see me testing, but I had, uh, I have a couple of other Raspberry Pi 5s that I've never used, had the same exact issue happen, and so I had to uh, reformat or redo the boot sequence for both of those in order for those to work successfully. So I hope that guy, uh, helps all of you out there. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. We'll be back with some more updates and news. I mean, I spent the entire... 
wasted afternoon trying to figure out and troubleshoot what happened uh, with that. So, you know, unfortunately, things like that do happen. It does kind of throw a monkey wrench into the whole situation when we're trying to work on images and make some reviews because obviously I can't make a review without my equipment. So I will catch you guys later. Peace out. You guys all have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.